Hi, I'm Courtney. I'm Maureen. And today we're going to talk about some jazz collages. <laughs> now, Maureen, I'm excited to talk about this. Music is such a great place to transcend culture. And we're talking about jazz, which has its roots in so many different pieces of music. We've got a few musicians here, and Miles Davis is one that's really highlighted. I have Charlie Parker here. Very good. OK. And, and then I've got Miss Sarah. Oh, beautiful. Vaughn. But any of these are available online, and you can print out different cuts and different images. We have tissue paper. We have all the tools we need. Right. And we're going to start kind of laying a foundation on our paper, construction paper. So let's start with that, Maureen. What, what should we do first? So we should get our paintbrush because we're doing a collage. Okay. Go ahead and dip it in your glue. Okay. And this is a good way to get your base on your construction paper here. That way when you go to glue your tissue paper or pieces of paper or whatever instruments you like or your favorite musician, you are good to go. This becomes messy and the kids love messy crafts, right? So as you're putting the glue on the piece of paper, on your construction paper, go ahead and grab some tissue paper and just start placing it anywhere that looks fun and exciting for you. I love that we can do this with kids of any age. Right. And all this like fine motor skill development when we're picking pieces up and we're cutting. What a fun way to introduce them to something like jazz. And you could be playing jazz music in the background, uh, talk to them about all the different genres that have been introduced, uh, that have come out of jazz. My own kids love hip hop. And so it becomes a good conversational piece and then a connector for different varying ages for me, who's a mom, and then for my kiddos to kind of let me know, hey, we actually have something in common. I can't imagine, too, just the, um, the talent and lung capacity for Miles to be able to play like he did. You know, I mean, even looking at this, you can kind of talk about how to play these instruments, what we like about these instruments with the kids, you know, to be able to see that. Right. And then music is about collaboration. So having, you know, building, using that as a teaching tool too, to say, hey, as you play music, it's good to play by yourself, but sometimes you've got to play with other people. And so the beauty about jazz is a collaboration with other musicians to come up with a beautiful sound of different instruments. Anything from a trumpet to a, a saxophone. Saxophone is one of my favorite instruments. Um, uh, vocals uh, make the whole piece come together. I think that's important to remember too is like how do we use the skills we're learning in these in different art and different music to be able to work together better. I think that's a good good lesson for everyone. Oh I like the I like this too. This is kind of we talked about the bend in jazz and how it emotes that right. beautiful emotions. Let's put something there where we're kind of bending. It looks really pretty. I think I'm done with mine. I I kind of went with one that was really full of life, so Beautiful. to say. <laughs> so I think I'm done with my little piece here. Great. All right, well, I think we have our finished products yes, here. Sure How's it do? looking? Looking good, I yeah? Think you did great. You did great too. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. That's so great. I did Charlie and Miles. I love this beautiful jazz collages. So. And uh, although this is not Ella, I love Ella Fitzgerald and being able to do one of your favorite uh, musicians, whether it's in jazz or a different uh, kind of genre of music, would be great for the kids to be able to do something like this. Thanks for joining us today to make jazz collages in honor of Black History Month. Thanks, Maureen. Thank you, Courtney.